Hello students, welcome to the English lesson for 6th grade. I'm teacher Katia and today we are going to work, learn and have fun together. Dobre dojdovte učenici, na časot po anglijski jazik za šesto oddelen. Ja sem teacher Katia i deneska ki se družime i ki se zabavujeme i sekako ki učime zajedno. Today's lesson is named demonstrative pronouns. Denešnji od čas se vika pokazni zamenki. The very, the very name shows you that we are going to demonstrate something today. Pokazni zamenki, ki pokažujemo na nešto. Celi novoj čas je vije kako učenici da se podsjetite na formata i upotrebata na pokaznite zamenki. Isto tako pravilno da ги upotrebujete pokaznite zamenki v nivnata soodvetna forma, da li je toa množina ili jednina, zašto ki zboruvame produkt s novo časot. I sekako pravilno i soodvetno da ги vmetnuvate ovije pokazni zamenki v sekakva forma na komunikacija, da li je toa usna ili pismena komunikacija. So, the four demonstrative pronouns are these, that, these and those. You can see them over here. These, that, these and those. Pay attention on the pronunciation. This, that. These, those. Okay, let's continue. First, we're going to discuss the title. Ke diskutirame malku za naslovo. Demonstrative pronouns. The very word demonstrative, demonstrate, I'm sorry, means to show, to point to something. So, demonstrative pronouns are words that we use to show that a thing, one thing, a singular, or several, two or more things, plural, are near to you or far from you. As you can see on the picture with these two dogs, the one is near, so it's closer to you, and the other is far, far from you. Let's look at these examples and think about them. I'm going to read to you the sentences and you look at the pictures. Look how close the picture is to the arrow. Is it close or far? Is it near or far? Look at this example. Can I use this play? Is that bottle over there broken? These letters are yours. Those paintings are amazing. Now look at the first example. Can I use this plate? Where is the plate? The plate is near to the arrow, near to you, and it's one, it's singular. So we say this plate, we show to it, we say this plate near to me. Now we look at the broken bottle. Is it near to you or is it far from you? We can see that it's further from the arrow, so we say that it's far from you. And we say, is that bottle over there broken? So bottle, one bottle. Is it broken? Is that bottle over there far from me, singular? Is it broken? Now look at the third example. These letters three letters, these letters close to me, these letters are yours. They're close to the arrow, which means that they're close to you, and there are three letters, so it's plural. Those paintings over there, they're not near, near me, they're far from me. The, those paintings over there are amazing. We can see that the paintings are further from the arrow. Now what do we notice? What did we notice previously? Over here we have one apple and it's close to me. So we say singular. Apple is singular. This is an apple. Over here we have one apple and it's further from the hand. So further from me. It's far. I say that is an apple. Over here I have three apples, so we say it's plural. That's why I say, and, and they're, I'm sorry, and they are near to me, so I say these are apples. And over here I have three apples, which means, again, plural, but they're far from me, and I say those are apples. Okay, let's revise this. And these, we use this and these 
for things or people that are close or near to you. Uh, with this, we have to know that we use it only with singular nouns such as car, plate, box, dog, things that are near or people that are near to me, near me, close to me. What's in this box? You see the box is close to the arrow. And on the other hand, we have these, which is again for things or people that are near to me, but only we use it with plural nouns such as cars, plates, boxes, dogs. And I say, these apples look delicious. We see the apples are near the arrow. What about that and those? We use that and those for things or people that are far from you. We use that only with singular nouns, one thing or one person, such as car, plate, box, dog, etc., you name it. What's in that box over there, so the box is far from you, and we have those for plural nouns, such as cars, plates, boxes, dogs, and we say those, the apples over there, which are far from me, look delicious. You see, we have two apples and they are far from the arrow, which means they're, they are far from you. I'm going to show you a gesture trick now. I've learned this trick from my students. Uh, I want you to use only your one hand, one hand only, which means that we are talking about singular, one hand. And I say this, and that's near. And when I put my hand out there, I say that, one thing, one hand, far. This close to me, that far from me, one hand, only singular, this jacket, that computer, this person, that person, this apple close to me, that apple far from me. So we use it only with singular noun, just one thing or one person. That's why we use one hand. What about these and those? I will need your two hands now. We say these close to us, these near, and those far. So we have these apples near to me, those cars far from me, these jackets near to me, those people far from me, so whenever you're in doubt, you can always use this gesture trick. These, that, these, those. And that's how you will know that one hand, singular, this apple, that apple. These apples, those apples. I hope you like this trick. So let's revise once again. Over here, you, sh you see this this hand is pointing really close. We say this book here close or these two books. I'm sorry, these two books here close or you say that book there, it's not close, it's far or those books again there, they're not close, they're far. Now let's practice. We have these pictures over here, six pictures. And you see the hand here, this one means that things are near and this type of hand shows that things are far. So now let's see, over here we have to use these, that, these or those. What do you think goes best with this sentence? Blank is my sister. First we are going to think about is my sister singular or plural? Is it a singular noun, sister? Yes, it is. One sister. So, is it near or is it far? What did we say? This, that, these, those. 
We see by the hand that it's near, so we say, This is my sister. She's near to me. I'm showing, I'm point, pointing to her, and I say, This is my sister. Again, let's look at the second picture. The hand is near to my parents. Are my parents singular or plural? We see from the picture that they're plural. My parents' parents is plural noun. So we say what? These are my parents. Now we have the cat in the third picture. And we see that the cat is far from the hand. We are talking about singular noun, cat, one cat. What do we say? That is my cat. We have this hand close to the books. Books is a plural noun. What do we say? These are my books. What about this house over here? It's far from the hand. Mary's house. House is a singular noun. So I say that is Mary's house. Over here we have books. Singular or plural? We're talking about a plural noun, two books, and they're far, so we say, those are my brother's books. Over here, blank are Sophia's classmates, plural, classmates or friends, and they're far, so we say, those over there are Sophia's classmates. The school is near to the hand, so it means that it's right next to you. So you say school is singular, one school, and you say, this is my school. This is Anna's hat, so it's close to you, one hat, this. Those are your trousers. Trousers, it, it's considered as a plural noun, even though it's singular noun. Just remember, you say, those are your trousers. Bag, this, close to you. This is his bag, singular, bag one. This is his bag. Far, two children, far from the hand. So far from you, you say, those are their, their children. Okay, it's homework time. Look around you. If this is your first task, look around you and find five objects close to you. Name them and write sentences using these or these, such as, this is my jacket, these are my headphones, etc., etc. Now again, look around you and find five objects which are far from you. Name them and write sentences using that or those. For example, those are my windows, that is my cat, that is my mom, those are my grandparents. Well done, I hope you had fun, write your homework and have fun. Bye!